Gautam, real estate is the other interesting one. You've been constructive largely all through 2020, maybe periods of underperformance, but largely okay. The question is, you haven't seen that sector set the stage on fire in the last three to six odd months. So there has been, uh, you know, relative underperformance. When, you, when I look at the larger names, maybe an odd stock or two here and there might have done okay. So was this the consolidation phase of sorts? I think so, because I think real estate was a little overdone early this year. You know, everybody started talking about it. The Excel sheets were out and all projections were being made for the next five to 10 years. And that's what happens. You know, when it gets overdone, you go through a period of correction and consolidation. But I think uh, once again, if you look at it, you have to take very important strategic calls in the market. You want to be committed into a DLF or you want to commit yourself into a Godrej properties. One is a rank outperformer. One is a rank underperformer. You know, so these... If, Strategic calls are very important and we have been batting all along for DLF and Oberoi Reality. I think bo both of these stocks should be the star performers and Bangalore based real, uh, real estate stocks, which is Prestige and Brigade, I think are potentially uh, dark horses. So with these four, I'm pretty much covering the whole of India in terms of real estate and I'm sticking to quality and I think it's a good basket, basket to play. Some of the other names, Shoba, Lodha, Ajmera, you know, and, and Godrej properties, I'm not too sure. I think they're more speculative in nature and they don't have great uh, relative strength charts. Gautam, may I urge you to try and marry what I'm saying fundamentally with how the charts could look slightly longer term. So you mentioned Brigade and we just recently did a conversation with Brigade, with the CFO. And the gentleman is saying that he believes that his revenues uh, could potentially double over the course of the next three years and with maybe better margins. So earnings might actually grow at a faster clip. Now, my question is, I don't know if you look charts that far out. Maybe you do. And generally, maybe you haven't done for Brigade or maybe you have. Just trying to understand, do charts look that strong for real estate companies, for a Brigade, et cetera, for like two, three years out? Yeah, they do. And I think the, the best way I like to understand markets is how stocks behave in the difficult times. Uh. You know, the last one year was extremely difficult for markets. On an average, we had stocks losing 45%. In this environment, if a real estate stock loses 10-15%, it's quite commendable. It just tells you that selling pressure is not there. And now in the good times, some of these stocks can just gallop. So I think Brigade and Prestige are right up there. I think they have great medium-term, long-term charts. If you look at the monthly charts, I think it's great. All you need is patience. It's not about identifying the trend. It's about riding the trend. And I think if you can ride it with patience, there is money to be made. 